Hello everybody, and my name is Audrey from Scrappy EMT. Today's project is going to be this cute little Valentine's card that I'm making for my daughter's uh, classes. Um, it's going to have a little Hershey kiss right here. I used my Gypsy this morning to design it, and what I did is, is I used a couple of different cartridges. I used, uh, let's see, I used George. For the two hearts, this one's in shadow and this one's in regular. And I use for the card base here, I used the Life's a Party. Um, for the scallop and each of the strip and the card base is from Cake Basic. The strip here is also from George. What I had done is when I did the scallop, I sized the rectangular down. And I laid another scallop on top of it and worked on here and made sure that the scallops all lined up so when I cut it, there's not going to be any of the card showing through the scallop. So it'll be a nice, perfect lineup. I don't know if you can see it all too well. Um, there you go. And this here is um, a stylus pen that I got from an EMS conference on. Um, my stylus for my gypsy broke over the weekend. So this is a neat tool. I use it on the ambulance. Um, it's a pen, a pencil, and a stylus. So I'm good to go when I'm on the ambulance. So all right, back to the project. So I laid out for the sample, I laid out my pink, my black, my red, and my white. Changed it up from the picture that was on Facebook. I'm gonna do the face on the white cardstock. I've already pre-stamped it um, because I tended on my last take of the video. I kind of stamped wrong, so for all video purposes, I pre-stamped the face. All right. So all I did is, uh, here's my card base. I took it and I folded it over, lining up the edges in the little curves here. And I used my nice bone folder. And I gave it a nice crease. So there you go. For the strip, what I did is I used some of the Scotch adhesive tape. Didn't want to pull out the big ATG gun for this. Not a real good fan of that Scotch brand, but it does in a pinch. To get my card to lay flatter, I usually fold it backwards a little bit just so it will lay flat. I line up my edge and my scallop. And there. And as you can see, there's no pink showing. Here's my little face. And what I did is I have some stamps from Peachy Keen, the little faces. I just adore the little faces. It was my first set ever that I bought from stamp, um, from Peachy Keen. So I love that I can incorporate it in here. Now for video purposes, usually I would use my Zig 2 egg glue pen. But today I'm just going to go ahead and use... The adhesive tape and what I do is because it is a shadow I want to kind of make it as even as I can all around it and I just lay it down just like that um, to give her some rosy cheeks or him I have some of my chalks over here and I use Q-tips and I just rub a little bit on here, give her some rosy cheeks. <sighs> Look how cute that is. Alright, and then what I do is I usually lay it on here to get a nice little position of where I would like it before I do my stamping and I get my ink. Autumn's cards are going to say so sweet 
Uh, it's a little stamp set that I bought from Michaels. I'm still kind of building up my stamps. So, I don't have any Valentine ones, but this one kind of, with the Hershey Kiss, kind of really look cute. So, I'm going to get some ink on it. And normally what I do is I take it over onto another piece of paper and I stamp it. Make sure I got everything covered. With them. Alright. So what I'm going to do. So I'm going to line it up here on the top edge. Give it a quick little stamp. It's so sweet. Alright. And I like how that looks. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a pop dot. My fingers don't like to work. And you just stick it right on the back here like so. And pop dot that right there. And close up the card. I think it looks so adorable. And grab a Hershey Kiss. Um... I haven't gone to get my Valentine ones yet. Hopefully this week I'll be able to go get some. And actually that's not the one I want. I've had to hide them from the girls. I'm going to grab a little one that's fully covered. And I use my, what are they called? Um, adhesive dots. Zots. And I have the flat ones for this purpose, and I put one or two on them, kind of give it that little extra hold. And I close down the card, like so. And you just try to center the Hershey kiss right there. So now when they open up the card, Hershey kiss is right there. And you just pop it off. My daughter can write. Her name here, down on this lower edge if she wanted to, I could probably stamp two, and she could put the classmate's name right here. Um, that's my little card. You'll find all the measurements for it on my blog, either today or tomorrow, depending on when I can get the video loaded up. And as you all know, this is my first video, so I'm really sorry if I'm nervous and kind of out of focus and all that. I'm sure over time I'll get a lot better. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little treat card that you can make for your children's uh, classmates or even, you know, I have a high schooler. She wants to make a couple and take them to her teacher. So that's what we're going to do. So thank you for stopping by and seeing my first video. Happy crafting, everybody. Bye.